Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to be breaking down all the ultimate rewards that you'll be able to get during this operation as 343 is now going operation by operation instead of seasons so let's start off with the first ultimate reward which was on january 30th the beginning of the spirit of fire operation and for this week we got the kai 125 helmet on to the next week which is february 6th we get the riz 028 helmet on february 13th we get the arcadian bog armor coating which supposedly is supposed to be or at least look like jerome's armor coating where he has the red stripe but anyways let's move on to the next one which is february 20th and that is the van 134 helmet on february 27th we got the ultimate mixtape weapon charm which is actually pretty cool as it's a cassette of the halo infinite soundtrack i guess is what they're going for and on march 5th we got the signal source emblems and nameplate pack which if i remember correctly i think this is supposed to be like the arc or something creating multiple halo rings or something like that i could be wrong anyways on march 12th we got the ragged waves backdrop on march 19th we got the fragmentum glow armor coating which is a bit of yellow and i guess what is that like some teal or something on March 26th, we got another weapon charm, except this time it's called Food Bottle, and I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, honestly. Probably one of the weirdest weapon charms I've seen. On April 2nd, we got the Crazed Bond coating, which I'm not too sure what it's going to be for, as we do see this coating twice. One thing we know for sure is that it's obviously going to be on either the weapons or the armor or a vehicle coating. But regardless on what it's on, this is definitely a really cool coating, and I think it's supposed to be some sort of like banished coating. At least that's what it looks like but it looks really nice anyways moving on to april 9th we got a wrist attachment for the mark 7 core on to the next one which is april 16th we got the shot code emblems and nameplate pack and for the final ultimate reward for this operation and presumably the start of the next operation which is cyber showdown 3 we got the crazed bond coding like i mentioned earlier we don't know what exactly it's for but it's going to be for one of the three things that you can equip in halo infinite which is your weapons your armor or the vehicle so those are all the ultimate rewards that will be available during this operation which is better known as the spirit of fire operation and we'll definitely be seeing the next set of ultimate rewards with the next operation which is cyber showdown 3 so stay tuned for that and let me know what you guys think consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and i'll see you guys on the next one peace